Have you ever had one of those amazing dreams where you don't remember a single detail when you wake up? And even after you've woken up, you're still thinking about it while making a cup of freshly poured coffee. And then you let the dog out because she is whining and also she is staring at you. Then you made a delectable meal, but you waited until it was cool before eating it because you remembered how your tongue had been scorched the day before when eating breakfast. All of these morning routines are examples of what our nervous system does for us. By the way, my name is Bernard Alec Di Sumera, together with Mam Aloha, Sir Carl, Sir Mark, and Sir Joseph. We are the nervous system group, and I'm the first one to discuss. All the things that you do and feel was all processed and executed by electrical and chemical signals to and from nerve cells. You can't oversell the importance of nervous system because it controls all the things. All your organs, all your physiological and psychological reactions, even your body's other major controlling force like the endocrine system bows down before the nervous system. Human's nervous system is probably the most distinctive feature of our species. From writing novels, the juggling knives, doing sports, all of our thoughts and actions and emotions can be boiled down to three principal functions. These are sensory input, integration, and motor output. Imagine a spider walking onto your bare knee. The sensory receptors on your skin detect those eight little legs. That information is your sensory input. From there, your nervous system processes that input and decides what should be done about it and that's called integration, like freak out and run around screaming. Your hand lashing out to remove the spider and accompanying bunchy scream is the molar output, the response that occurs when your nervous system activates certain parts of your body. As you can imagine it, it takes a highly integrated system to detect process, and act on data like this all the time. And when we are talking about nervous system, we're really talking about several levels of organization starting with two main parts. And these are the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. And now I'm going to give the time to Mam Aloha for the continuation of the discussion of our topic.